Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're taking a look at Renesimato from Fluffy Audio. Conjuring images of the Renaissance and street musicians from Bavaria and Bohemia to the operas of Florentine with an amazing collection of unsampled rarities. Library downloads as 29 gigabytes. It contains 36 Renaissance and medieval instruments. It's got 20 legato patches. All of those instruments have three mic positions and are assembled from a 24-bit 48K stereo recording session. They will record it in a very warm hall. There's some additional features that are pretty cool. There's an auto strummer for the lute instruments. It contains four round robins for staccato and plucked instruments, as well as release samples. Renesimato does require the full version of Native Instruments Contact 5.5.2 or higher. And at the time of filming here, uh, Renesimato was on a special intro price, 249 US dollars. That intro price is for a limited time, and it'll go back up to 299 US dollars. To create the library, Fluffy Audio teamed up with the ensemble Rossignol, which resides in Crema, and this is a uh, medieval Renaissance group of uh, dancers and performers, of course, musicians here, from which they've sampled a majority of the instruments. Renissimato is broken into uh, a few different folders here. You've got an instrument of uh, brass with a trombone and a soprano cornet. library contains a folder of flutes. You've got a, an entire family of recorders. As well as a Tabor pipe and travesseur. Library comes with a collection of key instruments got a couple different harpsichords and organs. All the instruments have an IR conveniently located on the front of the instrument, and I was also really pleasantly surprised by the organ instrument. You're able to select the uh, additional voices just as you would for pulls on the organ. It's a really beautiful sound to it. The library also comes with a heaping helping of lutes. This was a pretty a vast selection in timbre of lutes. I was really surprised by it. The other thing that's really nice is a Fluffy Audio has created this uh, lute strummer. So you got quite a few options and able to get some very realistic performances out of these lutes. There's one. KI for Renaissance percussion, which is uh, very colorfully divided across the keyboard, give you lots of options to play back some great sounding percussion. There's a folder of reeds containing a full family spread from alto to bass crumb horns. A 
Dolciano, which is the uh, ancestor of the bassoon. Soprano Caramello. The Rausch Fife. And the Zempagna, which is a uh, bagpipe. Lyserberry also comes with three string instruments. It contains a Baroque violin. hurdy-gurdy, and the viola, which is similar to the modern viola, except it's got five gut strings. All the articulations use Fluffy Audio's uh, switching, so you could adjust your legato, your end and release pretty easily. On the pros here, you got uh, key switching for all your articulations, as well as the ability to uh, reprogram um, if you'd like to use MIDI controllers or whatnot. The microphones are really nice, and I found that just by adjusting and blending my mic values, I was able to get the instruments to blend uh, much more seamlessly together and add a little bit more realism as a whole. Fluffy Audio's included a little summary here, which is kind of nice. If you don't know about the instrument, you get a little mini history lesson there. And the other thing that I think is really great is the engine. Um, they've developed here. You've got uh, some tuning options for the library for just 440 or 442 and humanization, uh, which can make a big difference there as well as adjustment to your curve for your uh, velocity controls. Playing back with the uh, lute instruments, I really love the timbre and tone. And like I commented before, the difference from one lute to the next it's a, uh, a world of difference, the sounds that they make. I really think this addition of the strummer instrument is really well done as well. I think one thing to really be aware of, which you can probably hear from the tone here, is this is a very much um, true to the instrument. These haven't been hyped or processed. Uh, there isn't that kind of Hollywood sparkle or uh, polish that you get um, and a lot of libraries that have kind of that medieval uh, tagline to them. I'll be sure, of course, to include a link over to Sample Library Review's Renissimento page, where we will include all the demos and official videos so you can learn a little bit more about the instrument yourself. Love to hear your thoughts. Do you like to add a little medieval fantasy uh, renaissance flavor to your scores or music? Please comment in the description below. And we'd love your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news and reviews. Mm -hmm.